All right, so uh, today I'm going to be talking to the JJ Slade program about uh, my advice for posters. Uh, my name is uh, Professor Jonathan Singer. I'm with the Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Department. And uh, I brought along uh, a poster that I made as a postdoc at Yale. Uh, so pardon all the other logos. Uh, as an example of the sort of posters that I've been putting together and to give some advice based on what I think in terms of uh, the design, in terms of how to approach the attitude about your poster, and finally about how to talk to different audiences. So in terms of design, um, what I always like to say is to have multiple layers of content on your poster. You want to have images that are big and draw people into your poster, and then at the same time, you also want to have um, not much white space. So the idea is, is that you can have a lot of fiddly content, you can have a lot of text, and you can have images that have greater detail that people can read if they choose to approach your poster, and they choose to uh, talk to you about it. But you want these large images to draw them in. And another strategy for doing that, if you don't want to have sort of huge blocks of text and you might not have that much data, is to use things like organizational schematics, so Venn diagrams, um, uh, drawings and other sketches of your research. And then also in terms of, I like to use a lot of images because I think that's what people like to talk about, that's what people like to look at. So there are these sections like the abstract and then also the conclusion where people generally don't tend to place images at all. And I say if you have a compelling image that makes a good background or if you have a really nice result, so in this case I was trying to get a job and so uh, a lot of my most interesting results actually happen before I put my abstract in. So my conclusion has sometimes more data than my actual discussion because more exciting things happen moving forward from my project. And then some really quick notes. Uh, always be sure to thank your funding agencies and collaborators. Also, don't use URL references. Try and find things that are primary sources that you can reference correctly. And the last thing, um, something that I'm 50-50 on, uh, is using a headshot uh, on your poster. It's easy for starting discussion, but it looks kind of weird. So if you're going to do it, make sure it's a current image and people know who you are. Um, so the second sort of set of advice I have for students in general is that a lot of students and, and people in general tend to be either too positive or too negative. And what too positive means is I've seen talks that have opened up with curing cancer and then have turned out to be about image tracking. So, you know, you want to be realistic about what your project is about, what the scope is, and also what the stage is. If you have potential applications, great. Call them out, but don't overemphasize uh, them. At the same time, in terms of negativity, many students uh, don't include any data that isn't their best data. And I'm not saying do a data dump. Definitely do not do a data dump. But if you have a piece of data that's not perfect, if you have a piece of data that taught you something or changed your approach, it's a great place to make a conversation and to talk about how work isn't all about the best looking final results. Because research is a process and so oftentimes something that will have happened that was a failure technically will have led you to a different insight or led you to change your strategy. So always include that sort of thing. And then the final thing I want to talk about is in terms of uh, approaching a diverse audience. So there's no great answer for approaching a diverse audience. But the, the best thing you can do is have inside the structure of your poster, as I said, many layers. So realize that you're not necessarily going to start or end at the same place or even take the same path depending on who you're talking to. So when someone approaches, try and get a sense of what their background and interests are. If they're an expert in your field, maybe you start in the middle of your poster and work towards the end, highlighting the big conclusions. If there's somebody who doesn't know anything about your area of research or research in general, Start at the beginning, but maybe then don't hit every figure. Maybe skip to the big points, the big topics, stick to the sketches, st stick to the things that'll make for good conversation in general with a general audience. Um, so those are the major things I wanted to get through. Uh, I hope this has been useful to you, and I wish you best of luck in your own poster presentations. Thank you. <laughs>